Morning. 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 Well? I'm fine. Good. You? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Busy. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> right. Any Liverpool fans in the room? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. <laughs> um, I was informed. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not by me. Right. Good. Carlo, to start with, uh, any chance of any players back this weekend? Thinking Bernard, Schneidlin in particular? Be Bernard, uh, of Bernard, we will check today the training. Schneiderlin trained with us, I think he is available to play. We had problem with uh, Fabian Delph that had an knock on his knee. He had a, uh, he had a scan yesterday. It seems good, but we will see today. The other players are okay, a little bit tired, but that, that is normal. We have time. We have two days again, so we can recover well and to prepare well the game. Just with those injuries that you've picked up, I mean, we keep seeing you linked with various players. We've seen Ravio, another name mentioned, James Rodriguez and Zonzi. Any chance that any of those three are on your transfer list <laughs> that you want to bring in? I didn't think about this until now. We are going to think in the, in the next days. But uh, no, honestly, before I want to check all the players that I have here and uh, that is normal. We don't uh, we don't have a lot of time because we have a lot of game, but I have an idea now, and every day I have uh, every day I can uh, um, know better my players. So after that, if there is any possibility, I think that the club is um, is happy to to try to to. If it's possible to improve the squad, what then will you be saying to the board that you need in this month? I know that the, that your job is that I want that you want that I talk about transfer market, but honestly, I would like to speak about the game, the derby, the the a fantastic challenge that we have, the fantastic opportunity, so it will be also a risk because you are going to play against one of the, no, maybe the best team in, in this moment, they are world champions, so um, congratulations to them, but uh, it's a fantastic challenge for us, so we don't have, we have to be focused there, I don't have to lose time talking about the transfer market because in this moment, really, I want to put uh, all my energy to uh, explain that the, the, to the players which kind of game we are going to, we want to play. You've been involved in big derbies before. What have you been told about this one? How much are you looking forward to it? And how do you expect it to compare to the ones that you have been in? No, every derby is really important for the support. There is a special game. I played the games in... When I was in Rome, I played game when, when I won in, in Milan as a player, as a manager. I know how different is this game. And so, <clears throat> of course, uh, Liverpool has the, the favour, the favourite team, but uh, in, in Derby, you never know what's going on. And so, we need to have confidence to play our, at our best, try to play our football if it's possible and try to move on from this competition that uh, everyone, everyone knows how important is this competition. Uh, but the last time I played this competition, I won. So it can, uh, can be a good luck for us. What's your record like in derby matches? Uh, I don't know. So, <laughs> I remember that some games I lost, some games I won. As usual in football, it happened. You kind of touched on it as well, though. What does the FA Cup mean to you, Carlo? The fact that you've won it before as well. My FA Cup here, here is really different from the other competition. Italian Cup is completely different. The fact that here is the oldest competition uh, in England, in the world, uh, gave, give uh, to this competition a really special uh, uh, atmosphere. No, I know how everyone... Uh, and... Um, there are a lot of surprises in this competition. And so, 
for us is a really excited game, a really excited moment, and so I, we have confidence so to do our best. What importance then do you put on this one game, this one competition, with regard to Everton season as a whole? Though? No, it's important competition. Of course, it's a competition that we we, we are competing now. Uh, I, the last time, the last uh, trophy that Everton won was the FA Cup, and so we have to have competition. It will be difficult. This is normal, but you can do your best only if you are. Uh, <coughs> Uh, uh, focused and concentration, uh, without fear, with confidence. How do you approach it without fear when you look at Everton's record, though? <coughs> derby matches against Liverpool, obviously not won a derby match since 2010, haven't won at Anfield since 1999. I think that the, the, the best way to prepare this kind of game is to be focused on what you are going to do on the pitch and, and, uh, and nothing else. How you have to defend and how you have to attack. Be focused on the game don't don't you don't have to look at uh, different things how you have to defend and how you have to attack <coughs> you're of course the one manager to have beaten Jurgen Klopp this season as well so what is the secret to score more goals <laughs> 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 no I, I Jurgen is, is my friend I have a good relationship with him uh, I had the luck to, to beat him um, last season also and after that they won the, the, the competition this year in Napoli was the same but uh, uh, we were able to do uh, uh, a great performance we were because if you want to beat Liverpool you have to do a great performance normal performance everyone knows is not enough against against them and everything has to be Perfect. No mistakes, work hard, sacrifice, intensity. The game has to be, if we want to beat them, the game has to be complete. Jürgen says as well, though, that he's going to rotate his squad. How does that impact on your preparations, if at all? Mm. No, it doesn't affect us, the, the fact that maybe they can change something. It will be a difficult match. We want to prepare well at our best and try to win. Carlo, speaking to um, Dom Calvert-Lewin yesterday, he was speaking about um, how he's hoping the team perform better than they did the last time they went to Anfield. But he also spoke about the togetherness and the spirit that you seem to have instilled in the squad since your arrival in a, in a short space of time. What influence do you think of yours is, is now starting to pay off for, that, for those group of players? No, I think that, uh, as I said, I found a fantastic spirit in the team. This is really important base to to work, to try to improve. I know that uh, in this moment, uh, um, uh, the players need to adapt. I, I ask them a lot of things. Maybe for some for some players are new things, and so I have to be patient that the player has to adapt to this new thing that I'm going to put uh, every game. It's a little adaptation that they need. I, I understand really well this, but the fact that they, they try to do something new on the pitch uh, is important for me. And so, as I said before, I don't want to change a lot because I don't want to, to create confu confusion in their head. And it's important that they try to do. He he, he was suggesting that um, he says there's a lot. He was saying there's a lot more confidence or a lot more. Uh, the spirit was good. They feel confident because of you being here. So y you must be rubbing off on them quite well. I am happy for this that the player think that uh, the fact that I am here can help us to, to be better. And I am here only for this to try to do my best and to help the team, the squad, the club. To improve, uh, th this is this is my goal, and if every, everyone of uh, every one of us has the same goal, I think it, it will be good for our future. And on the game, I know you've had battles with, with, with Jurgen Klopp in the past, and he has great respect for you, and and and, and likewise. Um, how impressed, have, or how difficult a task will it be to, to face Liverpool? And and 
you must have been impressed with what the season that they're having so far across the road. Ah, everyone knows how play how Liverpool plays. It's a fantastic team, fantastic in counter attack, fantastic in transition, fantastic in to recover the ball and and quick attack. So as I said, <laughs> you have to do a perfect game, a perfect a perfect game to beat them. Defend well, avoid transition, attack well because you cannot defend 90 minutes and we don't want to defend 90 minutes. We want when we have possibility to play our our football. Okay. Just, last one. <coughs> Just checking, you mentioned that uh, there's an injury to Fabian Delft. Do you have any concerns over the festive schedule and how intense it is? Well, the schedule is so intense, we know this. Uh, I think that the fact that uh, um, we are used to play every free game, I think the players and the teams are used to play it every few, a few ga- every three days. The news is that to play every two days is more <laughs> difficult. We were uh, from 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 this ba- aspect, we were lucky because uh, we played on Saint 26 and 28. We didn't have problem. We didn't have rude. It seems that also the team was fit. No, on- honestly, <coughs> usually. <laughs> Uh, when a new manager arrives, uh, he's used to say, ah, the physical condition is not good. I found uh, really uh, the, the physical condition really good of the player. And so, no complaint for this. Uh, of course, we uh, there are some injuries that affect us, like uh, Gabamen and Andre Gomez, that could help us to be better, but uh, in general, the physical condition is really good. And the fact that uh, we didn't have injury in these three games, uh, uh, muscular injury, I think is uh, is good. Okay. Radios, please. Just do that. Thanks, Carla. Ciao. <coughs>